In central Gaza, Khalid and Sihem cook dinner with what little they have. Food shortages mean people are going hungry. Despite aid increasing, its distribution is slow and the scale of need is huge. We only have three tomatoes, says Khalid. These are going to be our lunch and dinner for today. They say they managed to find a bottle of water and are sharing it amongst the family. We are burning the rubble of our home to cook, says Sihem. They built this home 20 years ago. On October 10th, an airstrike destroyed it. The effort to get aid in has ramped up. The entire Gazan population of 2 million people are now dependent on it. Our team saw hunger, desperation and destruction. People who have not received any relief in weeks. Hundreds of thousands that are facing an immediate risk of starvation. WFP hopes for the extension of this pause, which offered a window of relief that could pave the way for a longer term calm. Meanwhile, in Israel, more happy scenes. The Brodich family, freed from Gaza, reunited with their dog Rodney at a hospital where they're staying. The two-day truce now in place should result in more scenes like these. This evening in Jerusalem, in an interview to be broadcast on tonight's primetime, the Israeli president hit out at Irish politicians, saying he wondered what Israel had done wrong to make Ireland so indifferent. There are incidents where the political echelon is simply afraid to say the truth, and there are quarters in your politics who don't know the sources of the conflict. What's wrong with saying, dear Emily, eight years old, you were hijacked and abducted by a vile terrorist organization who put a gunpoint to your head and took you away and tortured you, and she's under shock. These were the scenes in Gaza tonight as more Israeli hostages were freed. Ten in all got out in exchange for around 30 Palestinians from Israeli jails. The focus now internationally is extending this truce. Fran McNulty, RTE News, 